Hello and thanks for watching this video and subscribing to our YouTube channel. In this video, we're going to talk about recording bank transactions. So many times you'll get checks or monies for things that you just don't have an invoice for. So there's two different ways to handle it. The first way is we have our banking module. So under new cash transactions, so banking new cash transaction. So let's say this is money we're going to put directly into our bank account. We'll select our company checking account. Pick an entry type. So this is the entry type that can automatically select the GL account. So in this case, we are going to be debiting our company checking account and crediting the income account that we're going to be receiving. So this particular entry type or entry types is associated with a GL account. You can see here, this is a disbursement or a receipt. So when you create your entry types and consider those as categories, they're easy to use categories that can hit your bank account. And there's rules so that, you know, if you're receiving money, you can only use that set of entry types. And if you're dispersing money, you can use those set of entry types. But in this case, we're going to select receipt. Now this says interest, and that might not be what we're looking to collect. Having said that, we can override that later. So we can either do one of two things. We can go over to banking and create some new entry types. So maybe this is commission. Maybe we have a company that we work with, that we're associated with, and as we resell or refer their products, They'll give us a commission and they'll just send a check. There's no invoice. So here is where you'd set the default offset account, meaning the GL account that we're going to record offset against the cash. So this is going to be income. We'll filter our income accounts here and we'll select other income. Once we create the entry type, we then need to tell it what cash account we're working with. Any entry type you create doesn't necessarily work for all your cash accounts. Again, this gives you the ability to restrict what kind of entries are hitting different cash accounts. So if we open up our company checking account and we go to the entry types tab, we can add that newly created commission entry type that we just had. You can also override the account if it differs for this particular cash account, GL account here. So we'll save this. We'll go back to our transaction. And now when we do a lookup, we can now see this commission entry type. So we'll give it a document reference, some sort of reference to the fact that we received this check. Maybe there's a check number or something like that. Do it that way. So we'll use today's date. And then we'll come over here and we can use a non-stock item code as well but we want to enter in the amount. So maybe it's a $500 commission. Notice the offset account. It came in as other income, but we can override that here. So again, the entry type is nice and it'll let you categorize things. It looks more proper, but you can come in here and change the actual revenue account if you'd like to. We're also going to put project X here as our project accounting system is associated with this income account. So therefore it's asking us to put something in there. We're just going to put no project. So now we could save this and remove the hold. We happen to have hold as a default actions, release it. So this just made a $500 entry to our bank account, debited it and it credited our other income account. So we accomplished what we wanted to do financially speaking. But the other way we can do it is if we go over to receivables and we'll click on show all here, we'll open up cash sales. So what cash sales does is it allows you to create an invoice, take a payment and release it all in one shot. So if we create a new one, we'll tab down, we'll put it a, a payment reference here. So maybe the payment check is one, four, five, six. We can pick a customer here. Now, if you don't have a customer, 
you should have this customer set up. This is more along the lines of the reason that we use cash sales. If you don't have a customer, you can create a generic one. But then again, you might just create the cash entry instead. But we'll select our customer. And here's our payment method. So they sent us a check. It will go to the cash account undeposited funds. And then we can add a line here. So we could either use a non-stock inventory ID here to pull up the appropriate revenue account, or we can tab over, put the $500 in it, and change our account, or GL income account, to other income. When it's all said and done, we can hit the release button. So that's two different ways. If we take a look at the GL entries here, so for the cash sale, it looks like this. So again, we debited our undeposited funds. In this case, we brought it into our undeposited funds. We're going to later deposit it directly into the bank account. And we credited our income account. If we go back to our banking, take a look at the transaction we created, and open it up. And we look at the batch for that, that up. We essentially did the same thing. We debited $500 our cash account. In this case, we went directly to the company checking account and we credited our income account for $500. So that's a good way to bring in cash and treat it as income. If you're doing the reverse, of course, you could change the GL account over on the cash entry. In previous versions of Acumatica, we don't have the ability to deposit a cash entry. That's why you saw me choose the company checking account. However, in future versions, this will be added to Acumatica. So you should expect to see that in the future. So that's it. That's receiving non-accounts receivable income. You can do so through our bank entry transactions area or use a cash sale under accounts receivable. If you have any questions about this or any other topic about Acumatica, Feel free to reach out to us. We'd love to hear from you. Thank you for watching and subscribing to our YouTube channel and have a great day.